in their relentless search for gold and with an insatiable appetite to turn California's rich land into farms, miners and settlers began putting pressure on California's native tribes. One of those was the Modoc. Their tragic story came to a head here, in what's now known as the Lava Beds National Monument in Northern California. In 1873, the Modoc retreated here and used the tunnels in the lava to evade and attack the federal forces who were trying to force them onto a reservation in Oregon. They were so successful that for a while, 60 members of the tribe held off an assault by a federal force of 600. The area of lava beds where they hid is called Captain Jack's Stronghold, after the tribe's chief, Kintipus, better known as Captain Jack. In the spring of 1873, U.S. General Edward R. Canby arrived here to try and negotiate the Modoc surrender. Captain Jack didn't trust the general, but still argued for peace. But other Modoc warriors outvoted him, and he ended up shooting Canby in the face and then slitting his throat. A cross to honor Canby now stands near the site where he died. On it are written the words, General Canby, USA, was murdered here by the Modocs, April 11th, 1873. He was the only general killed during the nation's Indian Wars. Not far away, members of the Modoc tribe have raised a medicine flag to honor their chief. Captain Jack was finally captured, tried and hanged for killing Canby. He and two other Modoc warriors were the only Native Americans ever to be convicted as war criminals. To this day, many consider him a hero who defended his people in a time when the U.S. was forcing many tribes to give up vast stretches of their land for almost nothing at what amounted to gunpoint. After the events here, the surviving members of the tribe were sent to Oklahoma, where some of their descendants still live today. <laughs> 